Here we are. Once again, we have Brian White. Brian White has volunteered his services to come in with me at the Tyson Dukes Wrestling Factory today. Today, we're going to go over reversal of a front face lock. So a lot of times, and we're going to go over this now, once we get into a front face lock, a lot of times you'll see guys grab that wrist underneath and turn out into a wrist lock, which is fine and dandy, but it's not the only option you have, guys. And that's the whole idea. With professional wrestling and chain wrestling, with, with, with basic wrestling, what you want to have is a whole bunch of ways to get in and out of stuff. That way, you're not limited. You're not just like thinking about, oh, I got a headlock and a snap mare. We got options. Okay, so me and Brian White can lock up here. Boom! Big old lock up. Brian White is an old school cat. I love the way he locks up. It's solid. It's great. Now, Brian's going to put me in a front face lock. Whammo! Once we're in this front face lock position, as you can see, we have, I can grab my wrist. Like I was talking about, we can bend out. We can come out with that wrist and have that wrist lock. But that is so overplayed, guys. That's super overplayed. Another good thing that we can do in this position is we can get that arm out. So we get our left arm out. Once we're in that left arm is out, we want to maintain control. So we're going to grab at the hip. My right hand's going to be on his hip just to make sure he stays steady. My left hand is going to go across his jaw. So keeping steady, all I'm going to do is turn. You manipulate a guy by the jaw. Once you pull on the jaw, you can turn right around. Remember, as I always say, wrestling is circles. So in this position, once you're here, remember the first thing you got to do is make sure that you have control of the whole body. So hip. And head by that jaw, what you have is jaw, turn. And keep turning until you have that front face lock. 61 and 61. Subscribe. We're going to be here all.